Welcome to my studio. I'm Wendy O'Brien. Thanks for dropping by. Today's drawing is of a gorilla completed in charcoal. This gorilla started out as a collaboration between Elise Wong Creations, Fine Art NA, Extras Art, Unmasked Art, and myself on why you should create your own line drawing even when one is provided for you. If you'd like to see the collaboration, I'll have a pop-up card and a link below in the description. This piece was completed using General's charcoal pencils on Canson mixed media paper. I started by blocking in some of the charcoal creating the fur area. I used a scrap piece of paper and scribbled some charcoal on it, then used a paintbrush to lift and apply the charcoal to the paper. I then used the pencils to create some texture of the fur, then blended and softened with the paintbrush. I lifted out some fur details with the Mono Tombow eraser as well as the white charcoal pencil. I then put the details back in the dark areas with the charcoal pencils. Continued on with the face and used the pencils for the wrinkles, softened with the paintbrush, and lifted out the highlights with my Mono Tombow eraser. I continued to apply layers deepening the shadows as well as blending and spreading the charcoal with my paintbrush. I chose to use the pencils to create deep lines in the skin and using the paintbrush to blend out as it really gave the dimensional appearance I wanted for the gorilla's skin. I used the paintbrush in the same manner, completing his nose, but used the dark shadows that I applied with the pencil as the palette, then softened and spread those areas around the face with the paintbrush, creating the overall values of the skin. I have the real-time drawing of this gorilla with voiceover on Patreon. If you would like to follow along and learn my techniques on completing this realistic drawing and participate in monthly challenges, consider checking it out. The link is in the description below. I moved on to the lower jaw since there is a lot of texture in the skin in that area I decided to use the charcoal pencil to block it in following the direction of the skin. I used the same pencil to put in the texture and details in the upper mouth area and used a paintbrush to blend but maintaining some of the texture. I then took my Tombow Mono and Nita erasers to start pulling out highlights through the face. I used my charcoal pencils to put in the final details on the skin and softened with the paintbrush. I moved on to the mouth using the same methods, paying attention to the highlights and shaded areas. I used my Tombow Mono Eraser to pull out the brightest highlights and give the portions of the mouth a bit of a wet appearance. 
always softening and blending with the paintbrush. up by using the white charcoal pencils to put in the fine hairs and pull out some highlights. Then I made the appropriate adjustments to make the piece just how I wanted. If you are new to my channel and would like to see more tutorials like this, subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss out and let me know in the comments what you would like to see in my next video. Until next time, keep on arting. Bye!